Okay, so our lesson for today is about the heart rate monitoring. Uh, we are going to use the carbonin formula. So let me share my screen. Okay, so last time I asked you to uh, compute your own, uh, you get your resting heart rate for three days. So get the lowest number of your heart rate and multiply it by four. <clears throat> so for heart rate monitoring, uh, we're going to use the carbon formula. So what is carbon formula? Carbon formula is a mathematical computation that helps you to determine target heart rate or what you call the THR, training zone. So the formula uses maximum and resting heart rate with desired training intensity to get your target heart rate. Okay, so the formula in getting your uh, training range is uh, 220, less your age, then less again your RHR, and you have to multiply that by 0.6 or 60%, which is your minimum training range in 0.9, 90%. This is the maximum training range. Then you have to add your resting heart rate again to get your target heart rate. So sample computation will be uh, this one. So 220, this is constant value in the formula representing the heart's anatomical and physiological limit. So 220, for example, your age is 16. So you will have 204. Uh, then that's your resting heart rate. For example, you got 74 and it will give you 130. Mm -hmm. Multiply it by six, it will give you 78. Plus your uh, resting heart rate in the result will be 152 bits per minute. Then to get the maximum training range, again, 220 less your age, then uh, it will give you 204 less uh, 74, which is your resting heart rate. So you have your uh, own training range due to individual differences in level of fitness. So resting heart rate will vary. So 204 less 74 will give you 130 multiplied by 0.9, and that will be 117. Then you will add your resting heart rate, and it will give you 191. So your exercise training range is between 152 and 191 beat per minute, meaning to say when you do uh, your activity, you must be in between 152 or uh, between 152 and 191. So what will happen if you did not reach 152? Uh, you need to exert more effort. And if you go beyond 191, you will suffer from nausea uh, and dizziness. So it is important for you to uh, be in your training range. Okay. So that's the Carbonin formula. So it's time for you to compute your own uh, training range using your resting, your own resting heart rate. 